voluntary one. Tony Stahl moves up into the defensive midfield to replace Becca. Scott Gordon jumps into the center back pair. First shot of the night. Here and it goes in. And we are underway with the scoring at Lockhart Stadium. That did not take long at all. Mark Anderson hits the strikers on the board. An emotional goal. A great celebration on the sidelines. You can also expect a little bit of that from Minnesota United FC. Barra and Bracalelo do tend to switch sides. A shot here, and it's 2-0. The strikers look motivated, and they have taken control here. 14th minute, and Foley gets on the act. Both forwards with a goal here in the early going. Minnesota now trying to get to the attack. It's going to be the first goal for Minnesota, but it's put out of play. Just had a hard time keeping the ball inbounds. Maintaining control on that first touch since the restart in the action. Johnson with a chance here. He's got one man to beat calm and sends it back across the box. And it ends up. Did it go in? I don't think so. <laughs> Send forward, this could be trouble, but Antonella with some quick legs gets to the ball. Doesn't control it initially, but does bring it under control. She tries to control the ball, ends up giving it away. Altman takes it away. Minnesota trying to break forward down the right hand side. Cross, and this one is going to go by Jeff Antonella. And on the board, Minnesota finally scores. And it ends up being Pablo Campos who gets the score, heads it past Antonella in net. Arquez, he's across into the box. Gets away. Barbaro's going to have a chance at a shot here. And cleared out of the area once again. Have it on this particular possession, though. No. Sent back into the area, headed down. Another chance at a shot here. This one misses high. And Minnesota misses out on perhaps their best chance thus far to tie this match up. Ivan Guerrero goes to the ground, though. Strikers fan on their feet, and it's over. The first victory of the season for the Fort Lauderdale Strikers. Oh, we had our chances, no doubt about it. Had a lot of chance, we just couldn't finish tonight. You know, I, I think a little bit of that has to do with mentally. The first half took it out of us. Again, we didn't start well, and uh, you know, but proud of the second half. I thought we should have deserved the result, and even the win maybe by the way we played in the second half. But again, a frustrating game for us tonight. Hats off to Fort Lauderdale, but uh, not, not our night.